Hey everybody, uh, welcome to week six of my pregnancy journey. Um, I am a couple days late with uploading this, um, and I apologize. Um, week six has been a bit of one of those weeks. <laughs> um, first off, last, the end of last week, so the end of uh, week five, I started feeling really nauseous, and I for sure thought that um, I was going to end up with hyperemesis again like I did with my daughter. So I started my um, medication that my doctor gave me just as a precaution, um, and she has me on Diclegis, which is basically vitamin B6 and Unisom mixed together. It is categorized as a, I believe, a... Um, uh, category A for pregnancy, so it's extremely safe. There's no uh, no side effects, no scared or anything like that. Um, the other thing that it seemed to have done for the first couple of days is make me really, really drowsy. But now I'm finally getting used to it, and it's not making me drowsy anymore. Um, so that's good. But with um, like I said, with my daughter, I had six weeks to three days is when uh, hyperemesis hit me hard. I mean, 24-7 around the clock, I could not eat, I could not drink, I, I was, I lost 40 pounds, it was horrible. And that was like my biggest scare with this pregnancy is not knowing what to expect. Now, um, I have heard and I have researched that sometimes having different partners um, can actually change whether you have HD or not. And with my daughter, I had it extreme. I was in and out of the hospital. I mean, nothing helped me. Um, with this one, of course, you guys know I'm remarried. For like the one really time. <laughs> but um, with this baby, it seems like I'm only nauseous if I don't eat enough. So um, first thing in the morning, I'm eating crackers. I take my, my uh, diclegis. And uh, I drink some fluid, water, Gatorade, whatever, and it actually really, really helps. I'm really surprised because I was like waiting for like, the worst to happen. So I actually might be able to enjoy this pregnancy instead of dreading it. Um, but we'll see what happens. You know, um, I am six weeks and four days today. Um, last week we did have an ultrasound. And um, at five weeks, four days, and we did see the sac. We saw um, the little bean, but there wasn't a heartbeat yet, which was normal because it was really still early. Um, as far as this week goes, um, there's been a few changes, not too much. Um, other than the nausea has definitely kicked in. Um, but like I said, as long as I'm eating something like every hour, um, whether it's just a piece of fruit or something, carbs or protein, I'm okay, thank God. <laughs> um, and then, um, what else? I'm noticing that I'm starting to get more out of breath, like just sitting here talking is kind of making me feel out of breath. Um, I'm pretty tired but not too, too bad. Um, usually around like maybe 10 or so, I usually take a nap. I can't fight it. I just end up falling asleep for about an hour or two and I get a little nap in. Um, what else this week? Um, I've noticed my boobs have definitely grown. <laughs> and they're very heavy, they're very sore. Um, but that's to be expected. Um, what else is going on in week six so far? I don't think that's, I think that's pretty much it for week six. Um, we went yesterday for another ultrasound for a follow-up. And, um, we did get to see the baby again. And the baby has grown a little more. And we just see the heartbeat with a little flicker, and it absolutely just sunk in finally that, oh my god, I'm pregnant. 
Um, we didn't get to hear the heartbeat because it's still kind of early, she said. But baby's heartbeat was 120 beats per minute, which I know according to wives' tales that um, the lower the heart, like if it's between like 120 and 140, it's a boy, and 140 to 160 is a girl. Now, with it being this early, I'm thinking that it might change a little bit in the next week or so. But I won't know because I'm probably not going to have an ultrasound until 12 weeks. Um, but my gut tells me it's probably a boy. I really want a girl. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, I know my daughter's heartbeat was like 167. It was in that range, the 160 range. So, um, so yeah. And I also had researched and um, found that... They say 75% of women who have morning sickness or like severe morning sickness, 75% of the time it does end up being a girl. And they think it's because of the extra hor female hormones that the baby is producing and you're producing that it's like fighting each other. Excuse me. And um, that's what makes it so much more worse, I guess. I don't know. Um, I don't know, something, like, something with, about it, like, I can't see me with a boy. Like, I have a stepson, but, like, I can't imagine me having a boy. Like, I only see me with having girls. I don't know why, but I'm sure this one's a boy. Um, they do all of my ultrasound pictures on a CD now, so I'm trying to figure out how to get those on my computer so that way I can show you guys. Um... But people have told me, according to the Ramsey theory, that it's a boy. And it's basically between weeks 6 and 8. And it's only good between week 6 and 8. Um, it's where the placenta, I guess, um, embeds itself. And they say that if it embeds itself on the right side of your uterus, it's a boy. And if it embeds itself on the left side, it's a girl. So... My ultrasound tech told me baby's implanted right in the middle. So I don't really know. Um, she didn't really say where the placenta exactly was, but baby's like smack dab in the middle. Um, but from the picture, it looks like it's on the right side. But I don't know. So we will find out at 16 weeks what we're having. So we have like 10 weeks to go. I had the suspense is killing me, but... I'm pretty sure it's a boy. I just have that gut feeling, and I knew with my daughter that she was a girl, so my husband would be ecstatic if it's a boy. Um, I'm trying to think. I have noticed, I think I'm coming down with a slight cold. Everybody in my household is mystic, so I'm just bound to get it. Um, I have noticed too, I am feeling a little bit more bloated. Um, even though the scale says otherwise, my weight has been fluctuating between like 139 and 141, so um, I'm not losing or really gaining, I'm just maintaining right now, and I'm hoping with this pregnancy I'm not going to balloon up to 210 pounds again, I would absolutely just, I would hate life. Um, so I'm trying to eat really healthy, I'm trying to be good, um, but week six has been kind of... Just that week where everything kind of hit the nausea and everything, but for the most part, I'm doing okay. Um, my cravings have been like ridiculous. Like, my husband laughs at me because, like, one minute I'm like, oh, I want chocolate cake, I want this, I want that, no, I want this. Like, I just want food. All I want to do is eat. Like, it's crazy. Like, it's just so weird. Um, but yeah, so that's that's week six. Um, I will do another update video hopefully on Friday to let you guys know about week seven. Um, depending on how I'm feeling too, it might be a day or so or a few days before I can upload um, each video. It just really depends on how I'm feeling. Um, our wedding is less than five weeks away and I'm like pulling my hair out. I'm like, oh my god, less than five weeks away. What the heck? <laughs> And I'll be just turning 11 weeks. 
So I'm really hoping I'm not going to be like barfing down the aisle because I just, I would be so sad. <laughs> I would be so freaking sad. So on that note, I don't want to drag out this video too long. We will do a belly shot so you guys can see my fattiness. I can definitely tell that I've got some bloat going on. Oh, right in here. I feel so bloated. Bloat, bloat. And this thing here is probably gonna have to. I gotta get a pregnancy one so I can change it out soon. Or eventually. So, that's my belly shot. And, uh, so I will see you guys Friday, hopefully, for a week seven update. And, um, I'll see you guys later. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do. Put them down in the comment box below. Alright, see you guys later.